You need got to give the old girl a tune up anyway, don't I? Tis much appreciated. In that case, we should look for an inn about the city. Ah, and we must sample the local delights. They far better seafood than in the capital. I can't wait. To stop for rest, surrounded by fine food is an uncommon blessing. If you're sure, Nurus, then we'll leave it to you. Me? I long for a proper bed. So be it. Let's find ourselves some lodging. Need a ride? Good choice. <laughs> well then, if you say you'll help. But what is there to do now? Greeting. Well then.
Greeting. Well then. What now? <laughs> Greetings. Well then. Can we talk? <laughs> what now? That's fine. Young man, young man. This is Now then. Now then. All right then. But what is there to do now? Well then, if you say <laughs> What is it you're looking for? <laughs> hey! 
I see. What? What is it you require? Yeah. Enjoy it. Kind of. Well, should have figured. Tis a far cry from the run. Did you see that giant bug just now? It was like the size of my head. It's got to be poisonous. Oh, pull yourself together. It's just a b a b a b a b a insect. Well, listen to you. You can't have lived in a giant sandworm den and been afraid of bugs, surely. Hence, the hut. That's why you lived in that hut. Uh, more importantly, we must discuss tomorrow's proceedings. Right. We meet up with Joanna, then get to the exhibition after that. Joanna will admit to the crime. The guilt of a sanctuary, especially of her status, will guilt Forden by association. That should make an impression on Louise. Yet for all this, we need Joanna herself. Do you truly think she will join us? We have to... She chose to offer her own... I believe she ex... And what if she ends up... If it comes to that... Boulder Dash will not... Right, we've done... Too early yet to retire. And while we're at. Oh, ha ha. What are we without beauty? What do we care for promises and speeches from repulsive mouths? Beauty is everything, and it is time our country reflected that. Sounds like the candidates have started their speeches. Let's listen in for a bit. With all skills and talents equal, would you see the crown atop an ugly head or a handsome one? Beauty is power. Lack one, you should lack the other. When I take the throne, all the hideous will be stripped of their titles. <laughs> Together, we shall build a nation ruled only by radiant, everlasting paragons of beauty. Well, he has a point about what people tend to follow. What? This really doesn't bother you. It isn't right. You'd rather wait for a king who was always right, then? Enough about appearance. A beautiful face cannot win wars. Without military power, the crown's voice means nothing! When I am king, I will establish a unified nation with the Roussant tribe at its head! Our tribes, our status, they mean something. You could stray from a monolith, but it will still remain. There can be no true peace without using the power we command! Hear, hear! For Rusev pride! What pride is there in seizing power by force? Disgraceful. When I'm queen, all the land's corrupt upper classes will be wanted men! We'll have our guillotines sharpened and our wallets open! Those who thought to tilt the world with their heavy coppers will be ahead lighter! We'll split their fortunes and toast to our health! Preach it, Katharina! You're just what this land needs! <laughs> Wouldn't the first target be the one on the throne, then? Everyone's just shouting all their ideals out. 
These candidates are all pathetic. Nobody here even compares to Lord Luis. Luis isn't even in the running, lad. Poor Blight is afraid of losing to Sanctifex Ford. You've got it backwards, Giza. He's just not wasting his time on these windbags. I confess, I know not how to feel. This unprecedented. Never before have our citizens come together in the street in broad daylight and shared their true feelings on king and kingdom. Indeed. Is this really the kind of change His Majesty wanted? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's go in. If we hang around too long here, we're bound to get dragged into a nasty argument. When I'm king, pleasures will rule the city. A bar on every block and a flagon in every hand. All you can drink, all year round. Woo! Next round's on, Loveless. Let fools be content with their fool dreams. Grant me the crown, and I will make our kingdom powerful beyond imagining. Most powerful? Don't really mean anything, does it? Aren't you another one of Luis's flunkies, hound? Stop barking and get back to your master. Always about that goddamn Luis. I've been in the guard just as long as he has, you swine. Quite a lively crowd. Looks like a great many of them came all the way here to watch the competition. Val Abbe. He's an elder, isn't he? Are you a candidate too? Well, strike me down, you're right. Never seen one of you blogs before. Might be out of luck in the race, though. You'll not stand a chance. <laughs> Pay him no mind. A drunk's words weigh nothing. Wow. There are fish swimming in front of the store. Ah, I've heard of this. Tis on the customer to fish up a catch, and the chefs will prepare it for eating. I admit, I'm curious. Shall I sing a shanty for you as you take up rod and reel, Captain? Is that really edible? It doesn't look quite, uh, natural. By all means, let us try it. Did she even look at it? <sighs> Why, tis, tis delicious! The aroma of the sea simply floods the mouth. Ah, and what splendid crunch it has. I guess I'll try a bite. I mean, they wouldn't let us fish up anything outright inedible. I hope. Can't afford to be too picky. Well, at least it ought to be better than the cuisine we suffered in Martira. It's rather slimy for my liking. <laughs> I said nothing since Hulkenberg seemed to enjoy it so much, but if you're going to eat an unknown fish, might you not at least sear it first? Tis fine enough without, I say. You need way higher standards, lady. Excuse me, friends. Don't mean to interrupt your meal. I'm Batlin, a church crier for the tournament. Maybe you remember me. Sounds like you made a hell of a splash in Martira, huh? Felling a vicious beast's one thing, but not many candidates took it... figuratively. With a problem like that, I had to do something. Well, the rest of the candidates had to find themselves ahead for the lineup. Rather struck me when you all broke away from the pack so soon. So... Do you have a head ready? Well, let's see. Got a head right here, I suppose. Lips sealed, huh? Well, 
I'm certainly looking forward to the... I've always preferred to chase an interesting lead over a sure bet. That cry is an odd one. Not really what you'd expect from a Sanctus promoter. Who is he? Rumor has it that young candidate hasn't... Whatever it is, he's about to get a sharp lesson in the ways of the world, poor lad. I think he's worth keeping an eye on. Keep it under your hats, chums, for his power may rival Count Luis. I think he's just the ingredient we need to uh, spice this race up a bit. Right. You wound me! Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The man's... What happened to waiting for our guests? <sighs> Seems like Joanna... Oh, I feared this might happen. And... Let's all stay calm. Ah! I'm going to... My sincerest apologies. I wasn't expecting anyone to come in. You see... How did you come to be here? Explain yourself! Is something the matter, Barden? They were here the whole time? I'm so terribly sorry. We heard the Gauntlet Runner had a washroom, so we thought we'd freshen up a bit. I bathed first and was resting in the back room, contemplating my final day as a Sancturess. Sir Nurus over there very decently let us in to wash up. I couldn't stand it, old thing. Her heart would bring any right-thinking man to tears. Could have run like a bally thief in the night, but here she is, washing away her sins. It was more than a chap could bear, I say. Needed a drop of the grape and grain just to get myself through it. The bottle's barely any emptier. Was a drop really all it took to get you drunk? Oh, please do not blame the poor man. Talking to him has eased my heart for the trials to come. I cannot let myself betray you and regress to my vile delusions. I only sought to atone with myself before my sins are duly punished. I understand. Thank you for coming. Then, as we agreed, please confess before the crowd when the time comes. To be honest, I'm hesitant to turn you in now you've genuinely decided to repent. I mean, we're hardly icons of virtue ourselves. In fairness, you're a woman of status, and it'll be a big crowd. We're not looking to instigate a public stoning here. You can explain yourself freely, in your own words. We can't ask anything more than that. Thank you. Truly, I've felt so much more at peace since last we spoke. The fog has only cleared further. Giving me clarity of purpose. The fog, huh? Thank you for everything. I do hope you win the throne. Whoever the crown goes to, we're at least going to make sure it isn't used for evil. At last, it seems our preparations are set. We need only trust that our plans will bear fruit. Thank you all for waiting. The very first round of the Tournament for the Throne 
the exhibition of the brave is about to begin. Our monarchs-to-be will now present to the people the heads they seize to demonstrate their power as worthy of the throne. At a later date, when the second round is announced, the faces on the King's Rock, that is to say, the candidates with the top 20 approval ratings, will pass the first round. 20? Tis a great many eliminations in but one round. I was hoping we'd at least make it through the first, but it might not be that simple. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes to the lineup of all the gorgeous faces at the judges' table, starting with His and Her Highnesses of Oceana and Montario. Oh, it's her ladyship. Lord Montario's here too, eh? And the armor on that fellow over there? A general, is he? And of course, we have the one, the only, the people's favorite, our guest from the Sanctus Church. Better known as the Miracle Saint, healer of all ills, presenting the lovely Lady Rella Cygnus. Saint? Who's this? Someone fill me in. I've been literally living in a hole. A brilliant healer. We've met, though a long time ago. Even as a student, she was already considered the kingdom's best in her field. Looks like the crowd's on your side, milady. Can you give us a few words about what's on your mind as you take on the judge's mantle? Uh, well, I'm afraid you've rather got me on the spot. <laughs> Hello, all. This city sure has, um, great seafood. <laughs> And, uh, well, sea creatures. Fascinating, aren't they? There's so much we still don't know about them. Um, oh, I, I did hear about a legend of some monster in the eastern seas of Oceana. <laughs> Imagine, the mind races. I'm hoping I can investigate those sightings while I'm here. That's just great, Lady Rella. I'll just stop you there, clock's ticking and all that. But we're thrilled you're enjoying your stay. Sometimes I can hardly believe you're my sister. Still not much of a public speaker, are you? So she's... a saint? Well, she seems like a nice enough lady. We'd better stop worrying about her and focus on ourselves. I don't see Luis anywhere, but I bet he's got eyes in the crowd. Now, the time has come. Let the exhibition of the brave begin! First up is a respected gentleman of the church, Gido, the head of the monk soldiers of the Crown Theocracy! I've no taste for needless killing. Therefore, I chose a mark with meat, abundant and edible. After the judging, it will be served in a banquet for the poor. A stand-up fellow, my good people. Strength and compassion in one package. He's got the crowd on his side right from the start. Now, is there anyone who can top this? I can. And we have a challenger. Second in line is the church's direct opposition, the spearhead of Count Luis's supporters, Gladell the Black Hound. One look at the head and I know what you're thinking. Bit small, isn't it? Well, I can bloody well tell you I'm not like this smarmy git who fished up his dinner. I'll tell you what this is. Behold! The head of a hideous human! Where's your proof? Y yes, the young son's right. How do we know that's really a human? What drivel? Look at the thing. You think a normal beast could have a face like this? Probably just made the damn thing yourself. Oh, useless as ever. 
Did it never occur to him that the average citizen has never seen a human? Now, now, everyone, let's have a little composure, please. Candidate Gladell, we're very much obliged. You may step down. Now, on to the next! Thing. Is that the monster of the Eastern Sea? Someone took the beastie down. Who did the deed? I'd heard tell of a monster tormenting the people of this beautiful port city. I could do no less than grant them respite from their suffering. Such is the duty of those with power. Who expected anything less? His Eminence Warden is simply in another class. Suddenly, the critics have all gone quiet. All I hear is gratitude. Gordon's trophy is more impressive than I expected. How are we going to make a stronger impression than that? We'll be fine. If he'd gone after us, the reaction would mean we'd have been written off no matter what we presented. Let's count ourselves lucky and trust in our strategy. Now, now, no dirty looks, you lot. Next is the Pagan Assassin's Prize. Let's see what head we've got now. Thank you. Candidate Julian for that helpful, exhaustive, and I think exhausting, explanation. Oof. Now, we've had quite a succession up here, but our last is coming up now. This should wrap up our show. Now, if the last candidate, the Elden Boy, would please join us on the stage. <laughs> Where's the head? Uh, your pardon, madam, but would you happen to be the Lady of Martyra? Joanna, the Sanctoress? Indeed. The head they've brought is mine. The impudence. You dare offer an honored lady of the church before these judges. This is not to be born. I've got something to say to you, too. That you, Chief, there. Isn't that Heisme? The same damn criminal you were supposed to be chasing? That's the infamous Heisme. The huge chief of all things. <sighs> this. After we saved your hide on the road. Silence! He may be a former knight, but now he's a heinous criminal who stooped to kidnapping. Anyone who claims themselves his ally should be disqualified on the spot. Please, wait. I have something I must confess to you all. You speak of the kidnappings that terrorized my home, Martyra. I am here to confess that the true culprit behind those atrocities was me. I was the caretaker of a hideous human in the basement of my castle. And to feed it, I abducted the innocent people of my own city. What? Absurd. Speak sense, woman. Master Heisme is innocent in all this. He was framed for crimes performed by my hand and in my name. And I barred it. Captain of Martyr's Guard Corps, stand to vouch for all that she said. Just so. It was this young candidate who killed that human, cleared me of the false charges, and dispelled the shadow over Martyra. Thus, here I stand. My head is his to offer. That's... Well, that's quite a turn of events! We have our head, ladies and gentlemen! And it's unlike any we've seen yet! How is this believable? 
She's an imposter. She's got to be. Of course. That, or they're putting words in the poor woman's mouth. A sanctuary would never. What will his eminence fall and do? <sighs> the Honorable Master Godot should know whether I and my words can be trusted. <sighs> is true to the last word isn't it yes your eminence without question young candidate you have done well to bring about her repentance now justice must be rendered what right here and now your eminence a moment thank you for your concern but i have no objections for a sinner like me, to confess the truth to the people has already been more than I deserve. O oh, new king, it is my hope that you will rid the world of its... Please, lead this country armed with the truth. I will. certainly turned in the heaviest what an upset ladies and gents who could see this coming <laughs> those crazy kids have done it again what a show Fawden just departed, wishing everyone well. And Fawden himself. Likely his attempt at redirection. Keeps the blame from falling on him. I'm certainly not blameless in this either. It was my suggestion to make an impression by foregoing the pursuit of a monster's head in favor of a person's. I guess, but... Nevertheless, the Lady Joanna entrusted her final wishes to us. And we mustn't betray them. That's all we can do, really. Not bad, Pops. We were passing on the course of a human hunt. You gave a most distinctive show. I suppose you're worth introducing ourselves to. I'm Fidelio, that's Basilio. Luis's right-hand men, see? And now you walk with a Eugene of yourself. Each ally of a different tribe. Fascinating. Better to have dependable friends than familiar ones. Something we've got in common. Mm -hmm. Not only did you expose her failing of the Sanctus Church, but you dared to bring her alive so Forden himself could do the grisly part before all his flock. That... Oh, same idea, yeah? A real person's head gets more eyes on you than some decap. Right. Well, sir, it's quite a feat for a no-name candidate to... Oh, Lord Luis? We re Relax. I like a show of strength as much as the next girl. So this is what's become of Luis. Do you suppose we have... Last time he told us... Oh, loves. I've got a message from Count Luis. And I have to say, I might not want to let you out of my sight either. Master Luis? Master Luis was just here. What happened? Well, he... We'd better be getting... Damn it! What's so special about those fools? Luis is having a go for Popeye. Are you officially all flunkies in arms now, then?
It might be a. Don't get cold feet. We have fine. How fair? I took a look at. And. No. Still. If it's something he'd keep close, then. Would he keep it? I doubt it. Do you really. It's as good a chance. He said he. Good point. Johanna, a backwater sanctuary denies me my moment of triumph. She defiles the very church itself. Oh, and naturally it was an elder of all people who stood her before me. Will that benighted tribe never stop dogging my heels? An idea occurs, Your Eminence. For the tournament's next challenge, let us center the competition on a show of piety. Make them prove their sanctus faith. After all, Sanctism is the state religion. I assume you have a plan. Alta Berry's our next destination. Ah, the so-called what need soon. And in the pagan lab, the collection of once I take the throne. Your eminence. <laughs> Say no Ever at you do not bow. Oh, I What troubles you? Well, some theories. If such a relic. Rella. Understood. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Uh, hello, uh, Night Prowler. Today, come. Bit good if I'm on the city's outskirts. Seems. You think it's a trap? If he wanted to, we have little other option. But I'll hang up. Right then. Hmm. Let's hurry. Boy there. What now?